Wow, there are some people in the world that are just cold-blooded. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Alejandro Gonzalez Inaratu is back behind the camera with The Revenant. He last did Birdman. Sure you've heard of that film. It won Best Picture last year. And I thought that film was great. I mean, I really did. I didn't love it as much as everyone else. But I still thought it was great. So when I heard the same director was getting behind the camera again to direct Tom Hardy and Leonardo DiCaprio, I mean, of course I was excited. Who wouldn't be? All these actors are great. We have a great director. We have a great premise that's based off true events. This film is so fantastic. It did so many things on a technical level that I just cannot believe and I love every moment of it. And I bet everyone's wondering, oh my gosh, is this it? Is this the one where Leo finally gets his Oscar? Mm. Probably not, but that's not to say that he didn't do a phenomenal job. I mean, he did. He did fantastic. But if I have to be honest, there are other performances that I saw earlier this year that were just better than this one. Now, I will say that if someone is to win an Academy Award, it goes to Tom Hardy. He is a supporting actor in this film, and my goodness gracious, he is the one that gets the cold-blooded award. His character, John Fitzgerald, oh my gosh. It's a freaking monster, demonic character, just evil to the core, does not care about anyone at all, is just selfish, and I just cannot believe some of the things that he was doing in the film and just how much he didn't give a damn. I mean, oh my gosh, he didn't hold any punches at all. If he wanted you to know how he felt, he would go to your face and tell you how he felt. There was no filter with this guy at all. Another actor that surprised me was Will Poulter. He did a great job too. He was in We're the Millers, and that movie was okay, but he did a great job as well. I was very surprised with his portrayal in this film, and he is now on my radar. And going back to Leonardo DiCaprio, yes, he did a great job, he did. And Leonardo DiCaprio always does a great job. Tom Hardy was better, but still, Leo was great. I mean, as Hugh Glass, I mean, he was great in this film, and I loved it. There wasn't much dialogue from his character. There was in the beginning. But as you know, he was mauled by a bear, so he's by himself a lot trying to survive. There was a lot of groaning and moaning and things like that. It wasn't much dialogue. When he was groaning and moaning, that was good. You felt his pain, but it just wasn't anything that I can say, okay, dude, you win Best Actor of the Year. I, I can't just give you that award. I'm sorry. As far as the direction of this film, I heard it was all done with natural light. I cannot believe that. Do you know how difficult that is to do? The whole film is filmed with natural light. I mean, oh my gosh, it looked great. The cinematography was fantastic. And just what the director was able to do with the camera, I've never seen before. I mean, it had so many long shots, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds long shots, and it was just beautiful. And the way it was maneuvering around everywhere and didn't cut, I don't know if they were long shots, it was just moving magic, but I love every moment of it. When they're in battle, it was brutal, and I, I loved it, and the director was just able to, to capture Every bone breaking, every blood or eye shooting out, every gut coming out. I mean, it was lovely. I was like, um, I was turning all in my seat like this, just eating all up, enjoying every moment of it. It was just great. It was just brilliant. I mean, that is just throughout the whole film. I love the acting in this film. I love the characters. I love the camera work, the cinematography. It was great. The best scene in the film, of course, is when Hugh Glass, Leonardo DiCaprio gets mauled by the bear. I don't know how they did that scene. I cannot wait until this movie comes out on Blu-ray because I'm gonna be in those commentaries like White on Rice, looking at all the featurettes behind the scenes, all that. I mean, man, it, it, it couldn't have been a real bear unless you have the best trainer in the whole world. I doubt that. But the CGI blew out the Planet of the Apes movies. I mean, that bear looked real. Now, I said all the good things about the film, but I will talk about the bad. There's some things that did bug me about the film. When Hugh Glass, Leo's character, was getting mauled by the bear, it was, it was horrendous, horrible, atrocious. I mean, oh my gosh, I felt so sorry for him. And he had to struggle to survive. But my gripe is, is that the transition of time that goes from that point on to the end of the film. I don't feel that he struggled enough and he recovered just a little bit too fast. Some of the things that happened to his body, I'm like, how are you able to do that a few, no, I don't wanna say a few hours later, but a day or two later or a few hours later or a few days later, it just, that really didn't make sense to me. I mean, this guy should have died with what they put in the film. I'm not saying what was based off true events, but the way it was portrayed in the film, it wasn't executed perfectly. 
how many films are perfect out there not too many but it kind of did bug me also i mean what i did respect was the way he tried to survive i mean he was doing all kind of crazy stuff swimming in rivers doing this with animals doing that with animals and i don't want to give it away but sometimes he had to eat food raw like a fish or something like that and sometimes he was eating bison liver or something and eating it raw but if there's a fire right there why don't you cook it for 30 60 seconds i mean i don't understand why he wouldn't do that things like that that really kind of brought the film down but at the same time there were so many great things that the director did and the performances that brought it right back up and overall guys it's a great film i think everyone should go see it i do recommend it two thumbs up if i had to rate the revenant out of a one out of ten i would give it a nine out of ten but guys that is just my opinion have you seen it yet do you want to see it have i turned you off have i turned you on do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing so guys thank you for tuning in leave me a comment below give me the thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel head over to the site find me on facebook instagram twitter and all that good stuff and share the video i'm not gonna get mad if you share the video and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace